Good morning, Communications High School. Today is December 15th. Welcome to the Wednesday edition of Focus News. Today we bring you an in-depth look at teen political awareness in CHS and across the country. Also, are we going to see the first major snowfall of the season today? Our weather staff has what you can expect in today's forecast. Following that, we have an update from the Honor Code Committee on what they are trying to do to combat cheating. And like always, plenty of daily announcements and your club schedule. All of this and more on today's edition. Don't go anywhere. Focus News begins now. Welcome back CHS, I'm Nicole Swearington and we are just eight days away from winter break. And I'm Gabby Maurer. Beginning today with our lead story, do you consider yourself politically aware? Politics in the news is something that seems to scare most teens away. Live today with an in-depth look at teen political awareness is Focus News correspondent Julia Hummel. Good morning CHS, I'm coming to you live this morning from outside the journalism room. Aside from learning how to report and write for a newspaper, this is where our students learn something that sets them apart from most other students across the nation. That is political awareness and news literacy. Do you know who the next speaker of the house is? Or how about this person? Can you identify her? What about the national debt? Do you know how much it is? A recent study conducted by the Pew Research Institute says most teens in high school can't. In fact, the survey found that the younger generation can only get one out of three questions about basic politics right. Basic politics that any citizen, young or old, should know. Junior Allison Kowalski considers herself politically aware, but as for other students, she's not too sure. I think a lot of teens just don't care, which is, does become a problem when they get older, because you find a lot of people just tend to follow voting trends as opposed to actual like candidates that they would wind up voting for because of their beliefs. The problem is just that, apathy towards politics and the news. Kowalski said that it's something every teen should care about. Junior Adamaya Testa is an example of a teen who considers themselves politically unaware. I mean, I watch the news and stuff. I have a decent knowing or understanding of what's going on. I just feel like it doesn't really matter what side I take. It's really not going to affect that much. Adam is just one of millions of other teens that say they don't have an interest or just don't care. Politics and news just isn't something that concerns the youth. However, for the roughly 300 students at CHS, news literacy is a part of the curriculum. Journalism teacher Andy Mulsheim focuses on news and current events in her required class. When sophomores come into journalism class, they really are not aware of what's going on in the world. They don't use the internet for anything other than connecting with each other. After completing her course, Molshine hopes that students remain politically aware and up to date with the news. According to junior Monica Marone, it's working, at least for some. It's like 50-50. Some people know politics, but some people have no idea. Both Marone and Kowalski think the problem just isn't apathy. They believe it begins with misinformation about information. I think it's a problem that a lot of teens don't really understand that you can be both like Democrat or Republican. You can be kind of in the middle. Kowalski also said teens should take the time to answer their questions themselves. Mulsheim believes that there is one thing in particular students should pay attention to. If I were a teenager, knowing what I know, I would be paying very close attention to what the federal government is doing in terms of the national debt. Teenagers if they don't pay close attention and try to do something about it, are going to be paying huge amounts of debt. So if I were a teen, I'd be paying close attention to that and starting to think about how they can become involved. Becoming involved not only by watching the news, but by taking an active role in being politically aware. Reporting for Focus News Worldwide, I'm Julia Hummel. Thanks, Julia. I'm glad to see that CHS is trying to combat this problem. Switching topics now, the nominees are in for the 2011 Golden Globe Awards. Those up for the top award, Best Dramatic Motion Picture are Black Swan, The Fighter, Inception, The King's Speech, and The Social Network. Also nominated for Best Comedic Motion Picture are Alice in Wonderland, Burlesque, The Kids Are Alright, Red, and The Tourist. 
The live awards show is set for January 16th on NBC. Gabby? Monmouth County native and worldwide superstar John Bon Jovi now has a new title, Presidential Advisor. President Obama asked Bon Jovi to join his White House Council for Community Solutions. The council will try to get residents and local governments together in order to solve community problems. Bon Jovi, a Middletown resident, has been called a staunch Democratic supporter by his own party. Who better to represent Monmouth County than Bon Jovi? That's right. It's interesting that Bon Jovi played at Obama's inauguration in 2008. Well, that is interesting. Taking a break from news, we have Evan with us to give you the latest forecast. What do you think, Evan? Are we going to see snow today? Well, Nicole, today we have about a 30% chance of flurries this afternoon. Right now, it's rather chilly outside at 18 degrees. Today should be mostly cloudy and it'll only warm up to about 28 degrees. Today will also be very windy, reaching gust speeds up to 25 miles an hour. Tonight should also be very windy with lows of 28 degrees. And now for a look at your five-day focus cast, Thursday and Friday will look a little warmer, both with highs of 34 and lows of 25. This Saturday will also be on the warmer side of the week with a high of 37. Right now, Sunday looks like we will get some snow showers with a high of 36 degrees. And next Monday looks pretty sunny with a high of 34 and a low of 25. That's all for today's forecast. Let's send it back to Gabby in the studio. Thanks, Evan. Now time for the school announcements. The Inkblot will be holding its annual Bullathon this Friday at Secret Lanes. Tickets are $12. Come out and support your local free press. Also this Friday, the Cultural Communications Club is having another Zumba class. If you're interested in participating, please see the On My Mind board for more information. Today, the class of 2011 will meet in room 207 and chorus will meet in 212 at 1030. Also at that time, open lab will be in rooms 145 and 220. At 11, the Broadcast Club will meet in room 148. Also, Open Lab will be in room 107. Taking a break from announcements, the CHS Honor Code has been hard at work these past few months. Their goal is to put an end to cheating in school. The council is made up of both students and teachers. Together, they hope to create a written document outlining the school's policy on cheating. The SGA member in charge of the project is Tom Bell. The purpose of the Honor Code community is to establish an Honor Code at CHS, um, something that's been missing. There's been um, a push for it from certain students and faculty and parents that want an honor code established. Tom also said the council hopes to finish the honor code this spring. Now let's take a look at sports. In the NBA, the Philadelphia 76ers took on the New Jersey Nets. Philadelphia came out on top with a score of 82 to 77. From the NHL, the Pittsburgh Penguins fell to the Philadelphia Flyers in a close 3 to 2 game. There were no high school games yesterday. And that's this Wednesday's edition of Focus. Thanks for tuning in, CHS. Join us tomorrow for a recap of the Drama Club's latest production and more. Reporting for Focus News Worldwide, I'm Nicole Spinerton. And I'm Gabby Maurer. Have a great day, CHS, and remember to stay focused.